Well, one thing fans probably don't understand is the amount of work that you have to put in outside of practice if you want to be a true successful college athlete, along with, you know, um, maintaining good grades, you know, just a positive attitude about the whole college experience. I think just manage time. I mean, that might not be that behind the scenes, but I think it is a little underappreciated, just uh, the amount of classes they have to take on top of that. And, you know, a lot of times you come to college, you have study hall also, on top of practice, lift. Uh, games, then you know you want to get better on your own time also. So I think it's just the management of time. Since we're all college student athletes, we'll have classes all throughout the day, and especially at different times, nobody has the same schedule or same major. So we may have to have practice or a lift at seven in the morning, or maybe even six sometimes. Or whether it's weight training, conditioning in the off season, or we may have to have a late practice, and you might not be done with your day until about eight p.m. at night, and then you might be tired, and you might still have to do homework or a type of paper or anything like that. So really it's all about planning ahead and getting things done. I think that's really something that also prepares us just for life. Uh, something behind the scenes that fans not, might not realize we have to do is 7 a.m. conditioning. Uh, sorry Coach Bill, but those are really hard, but we understand that's a price we have to pay to be great. Just the overall good feeling and good vibe I got. Uh, pretty chill, liked everything. Um, just the atmosphere, the beautiful campus, and how, how big the, the gym was. Well, I mean, I used to play AAU tournaments here every year, so I was like fourth grade, and the gym was always really cool, but we never saw it. Uh, we always played on the side courts in the event center. So I think just uh, coming on my visit the first time and, and really seeing a, a game uh, with the with the court down and the bleachers all out. I think that was something that uh, was pretty cool and uh, that was pretty special the first time I saw it. Just to work hard. Um, I would just say the value of just hard work because it always pays off no matter what. And also just being respectful to, to everyone, no matter age, no matter race, no matter whatever, just be respectful. The most important thing I think my family has taught me is always that family first. My family always has my back no matter what. Um, definitely always keep my head in the books and work hard and try and be the best at what I, whatever it is I'm doing, whether that's on or off the court. I think they always tell me to try and aspire to be the best at what I do, and that takes a lot of hard work to get to that point. Uh, my family taught me to never give up and always work hard and uh, persuade my dreams no matter what. either a Ford Mustang or another muscle car called the Equus. Ferrari. Maserati. Um, Camaro. Oh, probably a G-Wagon, probably. Like an all-black G-Wagon. Oh, I would definitely um, want to play football, the receiver. Golf. And I wouldn't play a sport, basketball I know. <laughs> nah, uh, if I had to play another sport, I'd probably be track. I mean, I'm not really good at any other sport, but I can run fast. <laughs> I, I actually started playing soccer, and the day when my parents made me try basketball, I was really mad because I loved soccer and didn't want nothing to do with basketball, but I was already really tall, so they were like, you just check it out. But since then, like, I fell in love with basketball, but Soccer always has a place in my heart, too. Favorite place I've visited would probably be Las Vegas. Disney World. I would say Barbados, pretty nice day. The city, probably uh, Madrid in Spain. There's a lot of stuff going on there. It was during the uh, soccer game, too, when Real Madrid played, so the streets were crowded with fans, so it was a really good time. Twitter. Uh, Snapchat. 
Instagram. I prefer a Snapchat. I'm probably an Instagram guy. I'd probably say Instagram is my favorite. A monkey. Oh, I want a baby lion. He drinks cute. <laughs> Tiger. Well, I'm gonna probably like a horse. I'd probably take a horse. I think that'd be cool to own. You know, like have your own horse. But uh, if not, I'm thinking like aquarium with a shark in it. I think that'd be pretty cool. Like I'm talking like a big one though. Not, nothing small. I'm starting young and I'm raising me a lion. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm getting a lion. Chick fil A. Mm, Pancheros. Mexican grill. Chipotle. Since coming here to Binghamton, I've ate a lot of Chipotle and I tend to like that a lot, so I'll probably go with that. My favorite chain restaurant is Chick fil A. <laughs> not on Sundays though, because they're not open. Uh, my favorite chain restaurant is probably Chipotle right now. I just, it's, I feel like it's everybody's. So you can't go wrong with Chipotle. <laughs>